Hey, and welcome back to my channel. All right, today I have another seasonal collab to share with you. We're all sharing our summer nail polish racks. I cannot believe it is June already, it's crazy. But anyways, I'm going to link everyone's channels down below. Make sure you go check out their videos. All right, so I want to start off by saying that with the exception of some of these toppers, these are all, I'm pretty sure, these are all pretty much untried. I really wanted to make an effort to start going through all my untrieds this year. I mean, they're not gonna get all worn this year, but I really wanna start focusing on my untrieds. And also, a lot of the polishes that I've bought recently are neons, and I don't have a ton of, I previously didn't have a ton of neons. I had brights, but I never really had a ton of neons. And I'm really just itching and craving neons at the moment. So I did buy a bunch of neons. So that's why most of these are untried. Okay, and also I do have a big order that I placed for toppers. So I don't have a ton of toppers that I'm sharing here because I do want to focus on all of the new fun toppers that I bought to go with all of these neons. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, also, I'm going to insert a picture of this new rack that I got where I have all these polishes displayed. And it just makes me so happy looking at this rack full of bright, fun neon colors. It's just it's so pretty. I love it. So I'm going to insert that picture. All right, let's go ahead and start with the toppers. First one I have is I Saw This Shine by Moonshine Manny. This one's so beautiful. This one will look pretty over all of these bright colors. And this is not an untried. I've worn this one a few times. And this one is so pretty. This one is a dupe for the um, Essie's, I think it's called Shine of the Time. I never had that one. And then we have Fancy Gloss Fire Opal. Look at that, look how pretty that is. I think this one was an untried. I pulled this one from my untrieds. Look how pretty that is. Okay, then we have another Fancy Gloss. This one is Opal. Look at those beautiful greens. I thought this would look really beautiful over some of these um, like neon greens that I have. So, so pretty. Okay, then we have, what is this one called? Glitter Glam by Sally Hansen. I got this one because of Krista. She says she loves this. And honestly, I can't remember, even though I just pulled these out last night, I can't remember if I pulled these out of my glitter drawer or if I pulled these out of my untrieds. So I don't quite remember if I've worn this or not. But I thought this would be fun. Okay, then we have, this one is an untried. This is Sally Hansen, House is Lit. I think it's been two years now when they came out with those um, toppers. It was like the unicorn topper. And then there was that, like the shimmery topper. And then there was that beautiful um, <clears throat> flaky topper. And then they even had like a, like a candy sugar topper, which I have, but I haven't worn yet. And then last year, they came out with this new topper. And because their other flaky topper was phenomenal, I thought I would give this one a try. Although I have heard that the formula on this one isn't the best. So any noises you hear, that's my dog. And probably chasing the cat. Yep, cat came in. But anyways, I thought I would give this one a try since I love their flakies um, from the, their flaky from previously. All right, then we have Sally Hansen Triple Shine. I got this one from, I think TJ Maxx. This one is called Scale Up. Isn't that gorgeous? This will look beautiful over any of my greens. It'll look good over my yellows, but I really think it'll look striking over one of the blues, which I'll show you in a little bit. I'm going in color order, by the way. Okay, then we have a Savina. This one is called Diamond Ice. This one, I swatched it. I've had this one for a few years. And I haven't worn it yet. Um, it was a little bit gritty for my liking, although now that I do, I have um, like a smoothing top coat, like glitter grabber, basically. I have my own version that I've made. Um, Grip Be Gone. I think I'll like this better, so I finally wanna go ahead and try to wear this. My goal is to get through as many untrieds as possible, and then the ones that I just don't love, I'm gonna be decluttering because I'm really scaling back on my polishes now, or I'm trying to as I keep buying more polishes. Um, I'm really trying to scale back and just use what I have and get rid of what I don't love. I do not wanna be holding on to polishes that, oh, I might need this in the future, no. So I wanna you know, get through and try as many as possible. This one is a goodie. Um, this one is a First Sour Then Sweet by Sally Hansen. This is just so good. It's just a little teeny tiny micro, like matte micro glitters, white. 
and it's just so good. Little teeny tiny speckles, which you know I love speckles. If you know me, you know I love speckles. And this will just be cute over um, all these pops of colors. All right, this one is finger paints. I picked this one up from Sally's Beauty Supply. This is Feeling Bamboozled. First of all, look how fun that is. This is gonna look amazing over all of these bright neons that I have. But I will say when I swatch this, it's very base heavy, even though it's chocked full of glitter, it's very base heavy and you do have to basically do glitter placement for all of it. You do a swipe and only like one glitter comes out. So then what I do when it's like this, I will load up the brush and then I will wipe off as much base as possible and then I will just kind of like place the glitters. But isn't that fun? Really, really beautiful. All right, then we have Different Dimensions Hello from the Other Tide. I got this during the sale that they were having. Um, I don't know if, you're, if you've heard, I don't want to really tell her story, but um, the owner of Different Dimensions went through you know, a pretty traumatic event. And she is now kind of like descaling her business. Um, she got rid of like all old stock, everything was on clearance, and now she's going to go going forward, if I understand correctly, is just going to be having um, smaller limited batch um, collections. So she had a sale and I bought a bunch, and this was one. This one I don't believe was old, it was just, I didn't have it, so I got it. Um, and I thought these pretty neon glitters were really nice. Um, when I swatched this, I'll be honest, I don't love the addition of the hollow. I thought I would really like it. I would have preferred if it was just the neon glitters, um, but I do want to give it a try. Okay, and then this one, Candy Lacquer Sugar Shock. I had this on my spring rack and I never got to it. And then I did go to wear it or swatch it the other day and all the glitters have completely bled. So the base is pink. So when I wear this, I'm either going to have to wear this over one of the couple pinks that I picked or I'm gonna to have to wear it over something where the pink base will just kind of blend in and you won't really notice. And then I'll either keep it and then for a future just always wear it over the the pinks that I don't often wear, or I'll declutter it. I then we have Glam Posh Rainbows and Unicorns. This is so fun, look at that. So beautiful, love that. Okay, just a couple more toppers. Then we have Glam Polish Blues Dressed Up Like Rock and Roll. Look how pretty that is. This is probably more of a fall topper, so I might not get to it, but it is so pretty. Like, look at that. This will look probably look really nice over blues. Oh yeah, blues dressed up like rock and roll. So yeah, probably would look nice over blues. All right, and then my last two little toppers are my Rogue Lacquers um, thinned out versions. This is Delphinium Out of Water, the blue flaky version. And then this one is 1000 Fringe Daisies. Beautiful, I love their um, metallic flaky toppers. They're so pretty. And then I just have two whites, um, Color Club Whispering White. I just got this recently. Sometimes in the summer, I do like to wear a nice crisp white mani with a fun topper. So I thought that would be nice because I haven't worn this one. And then we have Fancy Gloss Fairy Wings. Look at that, so pretty. Look at those beautiful flakies. Hi, my doggy. All right, then we have pinks. And I have surprisingly quite a few pinks, but I will say I do like to wear pinks on the toes. So a lot of these I will probably be wearing on the toes. My first one, which I'm sure I will wear this on the toes, this is Color Club Delta New. I just picked this up in that unboxing. Look at that, that unboxing I just did. Look at that, holy cow. That is so bright and beautiful. This is gonna look amazing on the toes. And then we have Restored by Polish and Better Together from PPU October 2022. This is the polish that Krista made. Look at that, so pretty. I've been waiting to wear this for summer. Okay, then we have, I got this one because of Carolina. This is Watermelon by Essie. Look at that. I'll probably wear this one on the toes as well. Okay, then this one I was planning to wear on the nails with probably this topper. This one is OPI Two Timing the Zones. I just got this. Is this not a Barbie pink? Like, look at that. Okay, then we have Simple Colors. I've had this one forever. This one is hot pink tights. 
like a sheer jelly and then it's got all those um, little tiny like micro like little teeny teeny tiny glitters they look like fine glitters and they don't look chunky I don't think the glitters are coming across all right one more pink and then we move on to the reds this one is kb shimmer fruit slices yummy yummy i'm pretty sure that this used to have a lot more peachy coral to it and it's faded a bit um i was so on the fence when i originally got this and i was like should i get it should i not get it i know i don't really love peaches but pictures showed that it pulled more peachy pink which i do like those and then i just never ended up wearing it i was always on the fence about it so now i need to finally get it worn and then if I don't love it, declutter it. All right, so two reds. I love red. Red is my favorite color. However, I hardly ever wear red. Um, and I really want to rectify that because I love red. So first one I have is Color Club Blaze. I got this because I was really craving the Vice Neons because I was really craving neons. And the Vice collection was out and everyone was just posting the Vice collection, the Vice collection. And I almost bought them. I almost bought four, and then I just didn't want to spend fifty dollars for four polishes, so I ended up going to head to toe, and I bought a bunch of neons, including oh, excuse me, including this red. This is so beautiful, and I cannot wait to wear this. I'm definitely going to wear this soon. And then we have OPI Coca Cola Red. This is a classic. I've never had it before, and I finally got it. And when I swatched this, this is beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this. This is so good. Okay, then we have Color Club One Love. We're into the oranges now. Look at that. This is so bright and beautiful. This is kind of like a, like a pinky orange. It's not going to come across true on camera. It's freaking out, but this is just beautiful. Okay, then we have Zero Night by um, Posh for Days. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I thought this might look nice as a topper over possibly this. If I end up wearing this on my nails instead of my toes, we'll see. I might play around and wear this over a red. I don't know. I'll have to um, swatch and play around and see what I think that will look nice over. All right, then we have Restore by Polish. I feel the need, the need for speed from which month this is from? February 2023. Look at that. Woo, baby. Perfect for summer. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, two more oranges. Then we have Salon Perfect Copacabana Girl. I don't think the shimmer is coming across on camera, but it has a really pretty pink shimmer and then that bright neon orange, neon pop it's called. It's freaking out the camera. This one I've had for a while and I just haven't worn it. So as I was going through my untrieds, I realized that I do have quite a bit of neons that I just haven't worn yet. All right, then we have Polish Grapefruit Fizz. Isn't that beautiful? This is amazing. Probably use this as a topper over something. That is just oh, absolutely stunning. It's just gorgeous. Okay, then I have, so, with the Vice Collection, I really want to get the neon yellows. I do not have any neon yellows. I, well, I didn't think I had any neon yellows. Um, neon yellow is the one color that just really intimidates me, but I really want to have one neon yellow cream that I could have for Halloween, because I think neon yellows for Halloween is really fun. And then when I didn't get the Vice Collection, I was trying to get some Color Club Neon, when I was getting Color Club Neons, I tried to get a yellow, but all the reviews for them were terrible, so I ended up not getting any. And then as I was going through my untrieds, I actually have two neon yellows. They're not creams, but they are neon yellows. First one is Different Dimension Squeeze the Day. This one I got when she was having that sale. This one has a beautiful shimmer. That's pretty. And I will likely, even though it has a shimmer, I will likely wear a topper over these neon yellows just to kind of like tone them down so it's not just yellow. You know what this would be beautiful with? This, the... Um, Delphinium out of water, and this would give like a um, flounder effect from The Little Mermaid. That would be beautiful. And then we have Fancy Gloss Game Over. 
those pretty flakies. Okay, then we have a neon green. I've had this one since it came out and I just have never worn it. China Glaze Tropic Like It's Hot. So it's a neon green, but it's got a lot of yellow. So I put it in between the yellows and greens. Let me show you. So that's a yellow, this is a green, and then this one is smack dab in the middle. All right, so Tropic Like It's Hot. And then this one I just picked up from head to toe. This one is We Lyman. Look at that, oh my goodness. I cannot wait to wear this beautiful neon slimy green. This is just amazing. Some kind of, one of the new toppers that I have coming in, I can't wait. I think we have another different dimension. This one is Greed. Got this one during her sale as well. Look at that, so pretty. Love those yellowy gold flakies. Okay, then another one that I picked up during um, head to toe. Um, this one is Trees Please. Look at that, so pretty. Okay, then we have Uber Chick Beauty Lime, Lime and Coconut. I bought these, I want to say last year. They had a sale going on. I got a couple plates, but I mostly wanted to try their polishes and I ended up getting a handful of polishes. Look at that, so pretty. That beautiful shimmer, wow. Okay, two more greens. We have Night Owl Lacquer Feroche. Look at this. I remember, I think it's been two years now, I saw Krista wearing this and I was desperate to have it. I wanted to have it so bad. And then I went to Night Owl Lacquer and I, they have um, where it's a mystery polish, but you can request that if they have a polish that they'll send it. And I begged them, if you please have Feroche, send it to me. And they had it and they sent it to me and I haven't worn it. Look at this. I for sure need to wear this this year. Okay, then we have Color Club. What is this one called? It's all in the attitude. This one's like a bright bleached neon. This is probably more appropriate for spring, but I still want to try to get to it this summer. All right, then we have Essie's Ride the Sound Wave. This was from their spring collection, so this probably would be better in the spring, but I still want to try to get to it. This is a recent purchase for me, and it's so beautiful, I really want to try to get it worn. This would look really pretty with um, the 1,000 fringe daisies on top. That'd be pretty. All right, then we have an LA color. This one is called, what's this called? Moment. It's got that pretty fine purple shimmer. I don't remember when I swatched this how that shimmer shows up. I have a feeling this might end up being a declutter, but we'll see. And then another Uber check. This one is Seize the Day. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. It's just stunning. Okay, then we have Simple Colors Zapped. I've had this one for a few years and I haven't worn it. Look at that, it's got that fine shimmer. I wore the pink version of this on my toes a couple years ago and then I never got around to the blue version and I believe I have a purple version as well. All right, then we have Colors of Carol in Every Ocean. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. This was from Polish Pickup, August 2022. Beautiful. Okay, then we have Polish for Days, Catch You Later Dudes. Got this one from a friend. Look how beautiful that is. That is so stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, then we have OPIs. Feel beautiful. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, then we have one more blue, and then um, last selection is purples. I have another fancy gloss. This one is Electric Waters. How gorgeous that is. So beautiful. All right, now we're into the purples. First one is Different Dimensions Rocket Man. Look at that. So this is one that I've been on the fence about for a few years, pretty much whenever it came out. Um, some pictures looked beautiful, like a beautiful periwinkle. Some pictures made it look very blue, like a baby blue. And then my friend Laura told me that it does kind of lean more blue on her. And then when Different Dimensions was having that sale and she was kind of like phasing out older stock, I decided to finally just get it. Um, it only ended up being a few dollars with the coupon code that I had because um, I didn't want to have regrets. And 
I'm happy to say that this does pull a little bit more periwinkle on me and not so much baby blue. Isn't that pretty? This is probably more spring appropriate, but I wanna try to get to it. All right, then we have Essie's Run Wildflower. It's a soft, pretty purple. This one was a Target exclusive polish. Okay, two more. We have another fancy gloss. This one is Electric Grape. Look how gorgeous that is. Absolutely stunning. All right, and then the last one that I want to try to get to this summer, this one is Salon Perfect. And this one is Purple Pop, another one of their neon pops. I think this is probably possibly faded since I got it, or it's at least starting to go through ugly bottle syndrome. I'll probably wear this one on the toes. All right, you guys, that was everything that I want to try to get to this summer, my summer rack. Um, please make sure you check out everyone else's videos. Um, leave any comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.